Amen. Amen. Christ. And you didn't think we we're going to start, mate. <laughs> hey, look. We're not, we're not slouching around here, man. Let's get on. Now, listen, you uh, you have found a video uh, of a, um, a world champs fight in the women's individuals that you're quite impressed with, mate. This you pretty oh, yeah. uh, you like this one. Very very impressive. Oh, wait. Imp impressive. <laughs> This is the word you use. What? Uh, so what we're looking at here is the uh, again the seventeenth World Kino Champs. We've got Japan versus the Netherlands. Are you ready to crack on here? Mm -hmm. All right. Hit the, hit the rectangular. Oh yeah, Roger. And this is for our um our multitude of female viewers, and we've got. Oh, you eight. have. <laughs> oh, you have, haven't you? Okay, sorry, man. Yeah, I did. I did that. Vanderwood, and I didn't catch the Japanese name. Who's the Japanese player? Matsumoto. Matsumoto. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. cool, cool, cool. Oh, she she is like the Matsumoto man. The Matsumoto. Recently oh, married? Man. Did you say? Did she got she got married? No, recently? that's Yamamoto. Oh, that's Yamamoto. Mm, my, my Yamamoto bad. Mariko. Sorry. My bad. My bad. It's Matsumoto. Matsumoto is the uh, she she's Kanagawa Kenke, I think. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sharp, man. Yeah. Very sharp. The Netherlands century is pretty good. Yeah. I mean, Matsumoto, I mean we know Matsumoto century is pretty good. Yeah. Look, yeah. look at the Netherlands. Yeah, yeah. Century. Snappy. See how she's trying to take center and all. Yeah. How yeah. she uses Shinai. Yeah. Oh what? Oh, that I love that footwork. Okay, eh? like it's yeah. real sharp and snappy, um, deliberate, purposeful. It's awesome. If we don't know if she's, you know, this is, you know, inter international world championship, you might look at it. It's just Japanese versus Japanese. You know? There's that. Yeah. There's definitely that. Um, that sort of style uh, coming oh. through. Oh, unlucky there. Let's have a look. Now she's yeah. done really well there. Just to look at those angles. So she's come in and around. Look how she pivots around, takes her off guard. Round, oh, yeah, yeah, a little fake. Love it. That was cool. That was very, very cool. Yeah, yeah. Nicely done. Nicely done. She knows it too. That's yeah. I wonder if she can take that it back. That works, man. especially you. Matsumoto says she was putting pressure there too. Yeah, yeah. Forward and then go this way. Yeah, yeah. It's it's so good to see when when Kenshi can use the angles around, uh, especially around that closer come. You know those those closer environments like Tsubazeri and things like that, and change the game so it's not straight up and down, um, or back and forth. I should say. You know, it right. just makes so much more makes you so much more dangerous um and to pick off those those opportunities that that you know you don't even know that are there you know if you get hit by a really uh a really quick if he was a right good attempt there she needs to get out of the out of the corner she's good that is good <laughs> now that can i just can i just show that one because we've talked about this before look how she's she comes straight out because she knows that she's got the line behind her, yeah, and, and pushes out, and that that use of the shinai there. You watch this, how she gets her shinai over the shoulder and hooks it round just there. Very smart and very useful. And you then know, if Matsumoto Senju didn't react to it, probably she could go strike man. Yeah, well. could have possibly. Oh, very good reaction. She's looking, she's like, you can tell Netherlands is really looking for a, a, an Ippon here. Like, she's really put yeah. on the, the hunt, which is cool. Oh. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Let's have a look. That's a Keiko, man, an amount of Keiko. Yeah. That's good pressure. Good pressure. Yeah, that's good pressure. Matsumoto says you didn't like it. She doesn't like it, but and then there, ah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 
Mate, <laughs> mate, uh, uh, the following through, and that's every time, you know. And this, like, this is the thing that strong Kenshi. We talked about this a few weeks ago with with Mandia. The the fact that they're coming through for those Nidan Waza is just devastating. It's devastating for Ipong uh, to get through. The more we can sort of infuse, yeah, Kanuchi was on the back foot. The more we can infuse Niran Waza into uh, into our repertoires, the better, eh? It just makes such a difference um, mm. to have that follow-up. And so what you're doing after the first cut or what you're looking for is to bring the left foot up quickly and then going over the top uh, for the next cut. And usually, you know, often it's a kote man or something along those lines. But, geez, it, it's just such a devastating <laughs> Uh, was it to have, eh? Is that Nidan was it? Right. That was beautiful. Beautifully done. Yeah, really nice. Really nice. Thanks again to uh, Kendo World for letting us use your stuff. Please go over and uh, give them some love. Also, give us some love. We love love. Yeah. We love, we love, love you guys. <laughs> we do. We do. <laughs> We really, really do. Uh, and uh, keep a, uh, an eye out for our webinar coming up soon. Uh, make sure you subscribe for that as well. And we will catch you at the next one. Thanks, Hero Baby. Thank you, Blakey Baby.